Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. It's been a while since I filmed anything, but that's about to change. And I'm gonna be going full bore into my vlogging, my videos, my riding, and my, of course, my business. So this channel is gonna incorporate vlogging, it's gonna include uh, product reviews, and of course, it's gonna promote my business as a safety trainer. But anyway, guys, today's episode, we are gonna be jumping on my Argo ATV. I did finally purchase it. You saw a little bit of a teaser video with the dealer promotion video I posted up here a couple months ago or almost a couple months and it was about uh, purchasing a Argo XR500 ATV and of course I did that I purchased it on June the 15th picked it up it's been sitting in the garage unfortunately I haven't been able to get it out getting a ride this is for my channel and for me as an instructor to develop my riding skills and to promote my business as well due to uh, promotional considerations so guys let's go take a look at Argo's entry level entry into the ATV world. And here it is guys, the Argo XR500. This quad is, like I said, Air Argo's entry level ATV. It's the Explorer model and it's a, called the XR500. It's powered by a powerful 443cc engine and that's fuel injection, so it's a turnkey and go. It also has a belt driven transmission and also a two speed transfer case with locking front. Now, this ATV, like I said, is their entry level. So check for price and dealer availability. I purchased this one out the door for around $8,000 here in Edmonton, Alberta from Recreational Power Sports. So if you're looking for an Argo ATV, that's the place to check out. They have a wide variety. Right now, they are gonna be getting some Argo XR500 base models, like the one you see here on video. That should be coming in in about a few weeks from now. Again, give Jacob a call. He was my salesman to purchase this, and he was awesome. Answered all my questions, and was really great to deal with. So the dealership's great, salesman even better. So guys, I picked this up. No problems. Now, the one thing I did not opt for, now, because you're buying an entry level uh, Argo ATV or any ATV for that matter, many of them today have optional winches. So I didn't go with the optional winch. I am gonna be actually installing one very shortly. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that or I'm gonna farm it back up to Recreational Power Sports to get them to throw it in. Those guys uh, really did well with uh, hooking it up when I purchased my um, Argo uh, XF500, which will be a separate review from this. Today, it's all about the ATV and Argo's entry level into it. So guys, it's a very nice basic unit. Now, because it's a basic unit, doesn't mean that you have to go without. Argo really did a good job with the styling. They worked with Kimco, who's the major manufacturer of the vehicle. And Kimco works with a lot of legacy brands, including Arctic Cat and many others. So they helped Argo develop this ATV. So while there's a lot of shared common parts with other makes and brands, it means that it's very reliable and they have a good part and dealership network. So Argo really did well when they came to styling the ATV. In my opinion, now that's all subjective, but that front end looks very aggressive. Comes with a nice dual bumper system, which is gonna be really good when you go in the bushes. It's gonna protect the front, the radiator, and everything. The lighting is uh, six headlights on it, regular lights, high beams, and then you got the fog lights. So those are really good. It's got a whole host of reflectors as well to keep you visible out on the trails. So even if you're working for this in a, let's say a, a commercial capacity or a workplace capacity, this here actually would be very functional from a safety standpoint, especially in places where the lighting or the seasons start to change and you're gonna be working where uh, the lighting isn't gonna be as bright. So of course there's that empty little hole there where the winch would go. Again, I just pitched, uh, purchased the uh, base model. I got it in green. I believe there is another color you can get with the base model, I'm not sure. Check Argo's website for availability and colors. The upper models are painted and they have more CCs. They can do the two up. Of course, they offer a wider variety of uh, larger ATVs if you need it. This one does not have the power steering, but because the front tires are, you know, entry level tires, uh, you're not really needing them on an ATV this size. Steering and control is very easy. They come with uh, Kenda Bear Claw tires and they are 24 by 8 by 12s. 
their rears will be a similar brand or same make, but they'll be going instead of an eight, they'll go to a 10 by 12. So you get a little bit more footprint in the back. But uh, going around, they give you good racks. The front racks can carry 75 pounds. The rear racks can carry a little bit more at 150. And of course it comes with the modern four wheel independent suspension for excellent ride and handling. They also give you other utilities such as a two inch receiver hook and a nice single exhaust tucked up there very nicely with a spark arrestor. Now coming around the side here, what you don't really see is storage capacity. Now it does have under storage seat and when I saw it, I thought it was very limited, but it turns out to be quite a lot. So we're gonna go shortly after I do the little walk around and we're gonna jump under and see what it includes and see what kind of capacities you have. So again, right down there is your CVT transmission, which is the belt driven. And here is where your air filter would be located. The other side has your oil filter for ease of maintenance and usage. So when you're inspecting your ATV, this one here is very easy and it's very intuitive. So consult your owner's manual every time you're looking to see specification, lubricants, gasoline levels. Those are where you want to go to make sure your ATV is all, always operating properly. So what we got here, we've got full LCD instrumentation. Comes with uh, you know the important information, such as your clock, your mileage, your fuel level, RPM, and then your speed as well. And it's really easy to read. It's easy to have functions. Of course, it has the key on and off. And then of course, it has a 12 volt outlet. So if you need to have any ex extra stuff that you need, uh, you can plug right into it. Now, the selectable gears is your typical ATV selectable gears. Very familiar on all brands. They come up with the same type of switches for the on and off, the reverse override. That's to give you more power when you're going in reverse. The default does uh, make the engine cut off at a certain RPM for safety reasons. Got your headlight switch and then your starter switch. Coming down here, this is where your four wheel drive is gonna be. The default, you could put it into two wheel drive, which is it in now. You can engage the four wheel drive, and then you can also engage four wheel lock. So that will help power, put more power to the front tires to dig you out of the situation you're in. This one here is also a little bit rare. It's got both brakes on the front uh, for front and rear proportioning. The industry is now going to rear. Uh, if you're a new rider, that's kind of a safety thing that a lot of people, when they have a panic stop, they tend to grab both the uh, brake and the accelerator. So new riders kind of get jolted and surprised under a panic stop. So a lot of the industry just went with a single lever, just like your brake uh, pedal in your vehicle. Same thing there. However, this one here does offer on both sides. What that's going to give you is a little bit more control in technical trails or technical situations. So for that matter, I do like it as an experienced rider. Also, we have a nice fuel cap here and we have the gear selector. So this is very easy to operate. It's very intuitive and it gives you your low, your high, your neutral and reverse. Of course, it comes with all the regulatory information for warnings and capacities. Make sure you follow those. When we check our oil, there's a little pad here and you can just get your access point. Again, checking your oil is vitally important prior to use and also for maintenance a schedule. And make sure you follow your owner's manual for uh, your specifications. The panel fits really well. The fit and finish is really nice. The body gaps are really good. The seats uh, gapping, I find very nice. A lot of ATVs have kind of made it cheap in this point where they kind of flop around, but this is very, uh, very stout. And I found the quality to be above average on the ATV. Like I said, we see a lot of nice gapping. We saw a nice uh, finish with the plastics and the colors. And again, the fit and finish is, I would say rated a little bit above average. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the under seat. I'm gonna park the camera for now. I'm gonna take the seat off. I'm gonna show you what the ATV does come with. We do have some tools and owner's manual for the base model. And then I'll show you actually how much storage is in this. Unfortunately, it's not quick access. You have to take the seat off, 
but it does offer really good storage even in an entry level ATV. Well guys, once we have the seat off, which is really easy, you just have one handle there that lifts the lever and unlocks it, you have your basic checkup. So when you're doing your inspections, you can take a look, you can wash and clean and inspect the exhaust and the other items that are around underneath here. But you also got the under seat storage. Now, under the seat, the actual seat itself will carry a small tools, and I'll show you what they are and what they include, but it has a little bit of a storage pocket here and a little storage pocket here. However, you're gonna need tools to expand on that. So over here you have the Phillips screwdriver and under this here, you could have what's called a lockable storage. So I'm gonna show you, and that's what you gotta be careful. <laughs> the screws come off a little bit. Uh, it was just there. So I would say before you do it, remove your screws totally. But if you remove this, you're going to extend the deep cargo area and that is excellent if you have like a small air pump your lunch uh, toe straps or any recovery equipment or anything of importance unfortunately like i said it's not quick access but it's a little bit more storage access you got to take the screws unscrew it and you've got plenty of deep cargo space so you got three different compartments there for three different items that you can uh, choose Let's go jump and see what uh, they include with the ATV other than just your uh, ATV. Well guys, basically it's as basic kit as you can get. Now I'm going to show you in future episodes what I would call as an essential kit before you go out and that would be even to do general really light riding. And then of course I'm going to do a moderate kit and an advanced kit and also seasonal kits depending on the time of year you're using it. But anyway, you just purchased your uh, Argo ATV. What does the manufacturer give you? Well, they give you, first of all, a CD, which is Ride Safe, Ride Smart. Of course, you can watch this, but I, as a instructor, would say, if you're very new to ATV, take an approved credit accredited course. That will help you, give you a good foundation to build upon. Moving on, we've got the Argo uh, Operator's Manual, very important. We call this MOM, Manufacturer's Owner's Manual. Anytime you have a question about your ATV, ask MOM. Give you a little bit of a tool pouch, which keeps all the tools in there. And the tools they include is a spanner wrench for adjusting your uh, suspension and your preload on your springs. Comes with a adjustable uh, T-handle. Now this is a screwdriver which gives you a Phillips head and a flat head, if I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, yep, flat head and a Phillips. Again, with an extra handle, gives you a spark plug removal if you uh, drown your bike and you need to get uh, to do some CPR to it or you're doing a tune-up. Again, these are trail side fixes that are reality. We also have this wrench and this can remove some of the body panels and also give you access to the battery, which is in case it's not really good it's not in an easy accessible location but you can access it with some of the tools that we get and of course the last one that argo gives you is a um, tire gauge and this here is going to help you before your pre-ride checks and to make sure that you are good on the trail so that's kind of what it is it fits inside this case and it goes underneath the uh, seat right there in that little uh, holder area and that's basically it so the next episodes that we're going to go on is i'm going to do a ride video and i'm also going to do a kit that is a what's i call an essential kit what you should take at a minimum of when you go trail riding but other than that guys yeah let's uh let's close up the video and uh we'll talk to you what's going on in the next episode well guys, there you have it, the Argo XR 500 ATV, and it might be a good quad for you. You might want to think that uh, buying an entry-level quad isn't good enough. I'm going to prove you guys wrong. So we're going to go in and we're going to do a lot of trail rides, we're going to do some vlogging, we're going to do some ownership experience, and we're going to show you the Argo firsthand 
and its performance to see if it's something that would suit you guys. And of course, I'll give you my ownership experience over the time that I own it. I do intend to keeping it. Uh, it is for my business, but I'm not renting it out for uh, usage of the business. It's just for instructor development and to showcase proper and prudent ATV uh, responsible usage in riding. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found this episode exciting. The next episode that I'm going to film is going to be a bunch of them. I've got my Argo XF500, which is the UTV. Plus, I'm going to be bringing home the diesel uh, to start working on that. I've got the uh, Volvo uh, now in my possession. So I'm going to do a little bit of Volvo vlogging and uh, driving. And, of course, a whole bunch of other <laughs> videos to do with safety. So, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully, I will catch you on the next episode in the next few days. You guys stay loose for now.